Why does the sun react to my head? And guys, let me take my camera. If this is green screen, why can I move my camera and here show you my entire recording studio? This is impossible with green screen or wait, is it? In this video, I will uncover a new high tech green screen technology that I'm using and I'm sure you haven't heard of before. Okay, so let me reveal what's really behind all this and how it works. But to really understand what's special about it and what's going on here, we need to understand how green screen traditionally usually works. So this is the traditional way of using a green screen. You need to shoot your footage of a person like me or of an object in front of a green background. Most people buy a green screen for this. Some people simply use a green light behind them. But I do have a green curtain behind me. It's not perfect, but it does its job. So then you need to import your footage into your computer and put this footage into a video editing program like Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. Then you add a plugin called Kia on top of this footage. This plugin will remove the green and makes it transparent. So first the background doesn't seem to be transparent but black, right? But that's only because we have nothing in the background, nothing behind our footage. So if I take a picture or a video and put it behind this footage here, we can see that the background is indeed transparent because now the magic happens and it looks like I'm sitting in this music studio, right? Ah, uh, but wait, does it really look I'm sitting in this music studio? If you ask me, something is off. It does not look good. But why? What's wrong with this? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Reason number one, the color of the light is off. So you can see that here in my face, on me, the color of the light is more on the brighter side. It's colder, it's more bluish, right? But the light of the background behind me is warmer, is more on the yellowish side. So to really make it look good, you need to match the lighting of the background to the lighting of the footage of my face, of my body. So only then it would look like if we are in the same room. But you can do this here in the video editing program, but it's hard. And if you ask me, it's not fun to do. <laughs> There is a much better way to do this and I will reveal this in a second. So reason number two why this looks off. This is, there is no light wrap. So what does it mean? What is a light wrap? Let me explain because this is easy to overlook. In real life, you can always see that the real lighting wraps around shoulders, hair, body, so everywhere you can see that the light really goes around the corner and wraps around um, the body and really blends together with the body parts. But in my example here, the area around my head, my shoulders, my arms look really hard and there's no blending with the lighting at all. So that's another thing you need to fix when you want to achieve great green screen results. So reason number three why this looks off here is that the framing of the background does not match the framing of me, of my body. Let me explain. You probably know the zoom feature of a camera. So it helps you to zoom closer to an object or further away, but it does also something else. And that's not so obvious. It distorts your picture. So when you zoom very closely to a face, for example, you can see that the face gets thinner. And when you um, have a very wide lens and you go close to a face, you can see all those huge noses <laughs> 
caused by a wider lens. And this is what's going on here. The footage of me was shot with a zoom lens. The footage of my music studio background was shot with a wide lens. So this is reason number three why this looks off and also the angle of the footage doesn't match the angle of the music studio. So reason number four why this looks off here is that traditional green screen is. When I move my camera, you can see my background does not move with me. And of course, that's very obvious that this doesn't make sense at all. So these are the main challenges with traditional green screen. But how do I overcome those challenges? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing green screen in 2023 or virtual production. I do use two very powerful programs for my green screen. And these are actually not video editing programs, but something that is actually 10 times more fun. And I'm not sponsored. Program number one is free to use for most people. Program number two is also free to use many people, but I paid for the pro version of program number two. And again, I'm not sponsored. Program number one is Unreal Engine. You may have heard about Unreal Engine because this is a program that is used to make video games. The most popular one is Fortnite. You can build 3D worlds and animation that either look like a stunning fantasy world and create your own avatar. Or you can build a world that looks realistic, incredibly realistic, like the city of the movie Matrix, for example. The possibilities are endless. Here you can see my music studio inside Unreal Engine. I can navigate through the studio like a video game and I can even press play and really play the game. But that's not what I do. That's not what I'm using it for. What I love to do is to move things around, to create a real film set, change the color of the furniture and adjust the lighting. And finally, add a virtual camera that I can use to shoot videos inside this music studio. But before I do this, I need to do something special because then I need to do something that really creates the magic. I cook my project. <laughs> I know this sounds a little strange, but what it, it allows me to do is to pick my cooked Unreal Engine project and drag it into program number two. And program number two is called Aximetry. I'm sure you never heard about that, but this is where the real magic happens because Aximetry has six simple but powerful features we need to make our green screen dream come true. Number one, I drag my Unreal Engine project file here into this area and then I do have my music studio from Unreal Engine now in Aximetry. I can navigate through it, pick a spot, a framing, whatever I want. Number two, I connect my camera to my PC and get the live streaming footage from my camera into this app. So what you're seeing right now here is exactly what I see while I'm recording, no SD card import or something like this. The footage is immediately in the program and I can record it there. This does not seem to be special, right? But we do have step number three. And step number three is I do have a Kia here on top. So let me turn this on and you can see also while I'm recording, it removes the green background and I have a transparent background. And that's a big difference to the video editing program because now I can remove the green screen while I'm filming and not only later in the editing stage. So this way I can see exactly what I need to fix or make changes to my lights in the room. But the real powerful features are coming now. So let me turn on my final composite now. So as you can see, I'm in my music studio, but Aximetry has powerful color correction effects built in. Remember the light wrap feature from earlier in this video and the lighting. Let me turn off the lights. 
bam now i'm receiving the exact same lights as the music studio has the next one let me turn on render to death and pay attention to the sun behind me wham now the sun reacts to my head and last but not least i just mentioned the light wrap can you see how the light wraps around my head that's the light coming from the room now the color of the light matches the light on me and in the music studio background it looks like we both have the same light and i'm in the same room so let me show you how cool this looks in another setting i'm still here in my same green screen room at home but this time i do have another virtual room and these really cool red lights i've also been here on this huge stage okay but let me go to step five out of six since the camera footage sits on a screen inside this music studio here it looks like this yeah but that's the reason why it really reacts also to the sun and number six i do have a motion tracking sensor connected to my pc via usb and this way i can control my virtual camera let me show you so that's what controls this camera and come on this is how it looks when i turn this to my head ah come on can you see this i do have zoom also activated yeah i mean i can vlog into my room now so when i move the sensor now it looks like i have a real camera in my hand but i don't and if you think this is interesting then i need to tell you this is only the tip of the iceberg if you want to learn more you can watch one of these two videos here and subscribe